G'day guys, it's James from Commodore Solar and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our Power Hub commercial. So you'll typically see a Power Hub commercial in a large single phase uh, circumstance which could be a large home. Um, it will also do these in three phase as well which it could be uh, 24 kVA, 30 kVA or 45 kVA of three phase power. A major point of difference with our Power Hub commercials is our temperature controlled air conditioning that comes standard with, with every hub. When the cabinet gets too hot, the air conditioner kicks in automatically and it will cool everything down. So it's got insulation inside and that, that'll keep everything cool so you'll have better performance from your inverters. So just say for example you've got 20 kVA of inverter power, if the cabinet got to 60 degrees or more, the inverters will still work but it'll derate down to say 50%. So it could be 10 kVA of output power rather than 20. And the other advantage is that by keeping everything cool, you'll get much better longevity from all of the equipment, including the electrical as well as the batteries. Now in this uh, Power Hub commercial, it's also got a temperature controlled heater in inside it. That will give you an advantage in a different way. So it won't, the inverters won't derate if they get too cold, but what will happen is your, the batteries won't actually accept charge if they're, if they're too cold. So say for example, uh, overnight the, if the batteries get down to zero degrees, uh, they'll still be able to put out power, but they won't be able to receive it. When you've got a low wattage uh, heater that kicks in and keeps the batteries closer to that optimal temperature of 25 degrees, that when the sun comes out, you're accepting uh, all the sun that's available, you're accepting all of the solar coming in. Now that can make a big difference to the performance of your system. So let's take a bit of a, a look over the components that we've got in this, in this system in particular. We've got three 8 kVA's, so they're, they're powered with Victron inverters. We build most of our systems with Victron, we absolutely love it. So three 8 kVA's, 24 kVA of three phase power. Uh, we've got our MPPT up the back here, that's a Victron Smart Solar 45200. That can handle about 13 kilowatt of solar. Your solar will come in via the side of the cabinet and will come into the DC switchboard. That's where you're going to terminate your solar. We've got a couple of other DC uh, breakers here for the air conditioner, lights and heaters. And we've also got our little TP link there. That's uh, DC operated as well. Uh, we come over here, we've got our main isolators over here, MPPT battery isolator and isolator for each of the inverters. So as we come down uh, to the batteries, we've got our Pylon Tech batteries. We've been using these for about four years or so. We're really impressed with, the, with Pylon Tech. Um, they've been independently rated as the best off-grid battery in Australia. We're getting to the servo, my favourite part of the system. The Victron Servo, it's industry leading. Uh, there's, it's got great smarts, so there's so much that you can do with it. So we recommend that you connect these uh, to the internet. We really want you to have a, a hardwired connection because it's, it's more reliable than a Wi-Fi connection. And if you do that, you can view data from your system anywhere in the world from your phone. Um, the other thing that it does is it enables us to assist you. If you ever have a question, you need to fine tune your system or you need to expand it, we can easily log in and check any one of the 100 different details. And quite often we can fix something in a matter of minutes just from changing a setting. Uh, whereas if you don't have that internet connection, something so simple can be difficult because you might need to get an electrician out in comparison. So we absolutely love our servo, but just so you know, you don't have to connect internet to it for warranty. It's, it's not a requirement, it's just advantageous to do so. So this is your main switch. So that's your standalone supply uh, coming from the inverters, your main switch. This is a PV switch. So if we've got AC coupled solar, that's going to come in uh, via the PV uh, switch. The subboard is what you're going to connect to your house or shed. That's going to provide power to, uh, to that switchboard. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, circuits there for the GPOs on the side of your power hub. So you've got power straight from the power hub, which is quite handy. We've got our changeover switch here. So we just leave it on standalone. That's your power from your off-grid system. If you need to run it from generator for any reason, uh, you can just flick it down onto generator only and that'll allow you to run from the generator.
So this is our main generator switch. That's where you're gonna hardwire your generator. Now you don't have to have an automatic generator, but it makes life uh, a lot easier if you do. So the systems are designed to take an automatic generator. So if the batteries get low, the generator is gonna kick in automatically and charge up your batteries. And it can also provide peak power if required. So our headquarters are based here in Shepparton, Victoria. Uh, we've got a, a dedicated team of 50 plus staff uh, for designing, building and supporting off-grid systems from uh, a weekender system, which could be a, a 3 kVA weekender, up to something like this, a power hub commercial, you know, that, which could run a factory. And then e we even go uh, above and beyond this as well, which we could uh, go up to commercial sizes with our containers and solar skids and, and things like that. So there's not really any limits within reason of what we can't do. One of the features of our entire power hub range is it's all expandable. So you can get, you can have multiple cabinets and, and join them together so if we think about the power hub commercial here what we could do is we could have a dedicated electrical cabinet so we could have uh, all the inverters in here especially if we're using the larger 15 kVA inverters so you've got your all your inverters your switchboard your MPPT and then we can add another cabinet onto the side that would be a dedicated battery cabinet so in that case we can we can fit 24 batteries in in a dedicated power hub commercial cabinet uh, the standard is 12 in the bottom, so there's all, there's all sorts of different configurations uh, that we can work with to make it fit your project. I hope you've enjoyed our walkthrough video today. If you need any assistance with an off-grid project or even if you've just got a question, feel free to reach out and we'll be more than happy to help you with that.